Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Strands of Grace. Thank you so much for tuning in once again to my videos. So today we are going to be talking about Kanye West. So I was on Instagram and I asked you all, what did you want me to cover in my videos? And a couple of you said Kanye West. And at first I didn't want to do a video on this because a lot of people are sharing their opinions about Kanye, but I said, okay, let's talk about Kanye West. So first of all, I want to say that I am so excited. Like literally my spirit leaps every time I see a video, every time I see that more people have been led to Christ because of Kanye professing Christ and because of him using his platform to glorify God. And so at first when I heard about him, I was like, oh snap, like, okay, what is he doing? Because I didn't follow Kanye like that. I knew about him, but I've never really listened to his music or anything like that. And so I was like, wow, like he is sharing his testimony and he's creating gospel music. Like this is awesome. And then I started to see like everybody's opinions surfacing and especially Christian's opinions being so judgmental and saying that, oh, what if it's not true? What if this is just another thing that Kanye is on? What if it's over tomorrow? And some people were even saying like, okay, let's watch him pray. But I'm like, okay, yes, the Bible does say to watch and pray. But since when are we to decide whether somebody is saved or not? Like, this is amazing what Kanye is doing. Like he is literally leading people to Christ. He is literally leading thousands and thousands of people to Christ. And while we are sitting behind our phones or while we are sitting behind our computers, when is the last time that we led somebody to Christ? When is the last time that we shared the gospel with somebody? For me, it's not a matter of is Kanye really this or is Kanye really that? Like, wow, I have to reflect on myself and say, wow, Kanye is truly bringing forth the gospel. Kanye is really carrying the gospel to places and to people that otherwise may not have felt like they were worthy of the gospel, may not have felt like anybody would even take the time of day to talk to them. And instead of saying, let's watch and pray, like, yes, let's watch and pray and let's put our own hand to the plow. Kanye has lived his life before the world and we have seen the things that he has done we have seen all the craziness that he has done and we have seen him call himself Jesus but for this to be a man who has called himself Jesus and to then say that he is stepping off of the throne of his life and that Jesus is king like that is so so powerful like imagine just the platform that he has using that for the glory of God even his wife's platform imagine her using that for the glory of God imagine the people that he is going to reach the lost the unaccepted the people who feel like they are unworthy the people who would never step into a church like yes kanye is a new christian and we should pray for him all the more because i'm sure that he is going to be attacked spiritually i'm sure that he is going to experience some discouragement and the last place he needs that from is from his brothers and sisters we have to pray for him and pray that when he falls short, because he will, he will absolutely fall short because we fall short, that he will keep going. I keep praying that God will continue to be strong in his weakness, that he will continue to let God be strong in his weaknesses and his insecurities, that he would continue to exalt God above anything. Because not only is Kanye experiencing scrutiny from the world, he is experiencing judgment from his brothers and sisters. And that breaks my heart. And he even says that on his album. So y'all, let's love this man. And let's keep rooting for him. And while we are doing that, let's put our own hand to the plow. Because all of us have done things that we're not proud of. All of us have been inconsistent in our walk with Christ at some point. We just haven't lived it on a platform as his. So let's pray. Thank y'all for watching.